Right, A-levels of course can be really dreadful, but I'm here to reduce your dread and fear as much as possible through this video. If I was a teacher, you wouldn't even care about what they've seen because you've heard of it enough, but I'm a student and I've faced many problems during the A-levels and I'm here to make sure you guys don't face these problems. So stick around. Number one is to get all things ready the night before the exam. First, your entry proof and your NRIC or passport. And two things with regard to the entry proof, make sure you place it in a plastic cover so that it protects it from external damage. And number two, do scan copies of your entry proof into your laptop or thumb drive in case you lose it because examiners won't care if it is the original or photocopied version. I would recommend getting a box like this where you can put all your things inside conveniently. Number two, your graphing calculator. Make sure you charge it the day before the exam. And if you're scared that your calculator will betray you, bring a spare calculator in case your GC runs out of battery. Next, the most important thing, stationery. What do you need to bring? Please get a transparent case, preferably A4 size, so you can put all the things conveniently inside. Bring three blue or black pens, three pencils, and preferably a mechanical pencil if you'd like, a good eraser and a sharpener, a long ruler and a curve ruler. Please don't forget the curve ruler. As well as a mathematical set. The mathematical set is not a fancy subset of math. All it requires is three things. A protractor, a set square and a compass to draw circles. You can also use a mathematical set as well. And if you're a geography student like me, do make sure that you have some colour pencils to draw your graphs for your geographical investigation if they ask. Then you put all these things in the box and close the box. Next, bring your revision material, be it a physics, chemistry or biology exam. There are many reasons why I would recommend this. Number one, it gets your momentum and mindset ready, especially if you're facing a fast-paced paper like MCQ. You train your mind to prepare for it. Number two, it helps you recall all the concepts that you learn and avoid certain misconceptions that you may have overlooked. And lastly, you know what's the fun thing? You can ask your friends in school in case you did not understand something as you were reading through your notes. Number two, you need to know your exam details. Number one, is it held in the morning or is it in the afternoon? Now, I don't want you to ruin your sleep by turning out in the morning for an afternoon paper. Number two, where in the school is it held? Is it in the indoor sports hall? Is it in the hall? Or is it in some assembly area? You have to know this. Number three, most importantly, the seat number that you are sitting on. What can you do? WhatsApp your friends the day before the exam about it. The third thing is to wake up early. If your exam is at 8 a.m. in the morning, you should plan to reach around 7 a.m. at your school. This is to buffer emergencies, like you need to go to the toilet or your train breaks down. For example, if your train breaks down, right, if you go early, you'll probably have like one or two friends in the same train as you to accompany you that you are late. But if you turn up late, you will be like the only loner in the entire train who is late. So you decide for yourself. And lastly, grab your water bottle in your bag right before you go. Now the fifth thing is right before the exam. What do you need to do? First, make sure that your water bottle is filled. Number two, make sure they've gone to the toilet because some papers can be up to three hours long and it's really hard to hold urgency. And very important, take all your belongings. That's why I emphasize this case, your calculator, your entry proof and NRIC, make sure everything's there before you step into the exam hall. Because I don't want you to come out of the exam hall halfway and start panicking and losing focus for the exam. And then don't forget, put your phone on silent mode and put it in your bag and place your bag in a very safe place, far away from where people can steal your valuables. Lastly, wish all your friends around you all the best right before stepping in the exam hall because that will put a bit of confidence and a smile on their faces. And through this video, I wish you guys all the best for your A-levels. Please subscribe to my channel and stay tuned for my next video.